One of the key differences that we're seeing is really the strategy that the different companies take in terms of just different denominators of patient populations and that some are like nivolumab is being largely tested in in unselected populations looking at PDL1 levels or not looking at PDL1 levels while several of the other agents in this space are really being restricted to patients who are PDL1 positive and seem to in most of the trials have a better probability of, of long response. Do you see PDL1 now as an important biomarker that you would use if it's not mandated? For instance, say in, in the nivolumab patients with non squamous disease? So nivolumab for first line, they they did they are looking at PDL1. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about second or third line um, with the squamous data, um, you know, I think a big part of the issue is is there tissue even available for testing? And if there is, which cut point do you, you use? We've even watched with atezolizumab, the cut points changed from the original phase one data, where it was five, ten percent, and now we're up to a fifty percent cut point. So right now the data suggests that you can use nivolumab regardless of PDL1 status. Um, it's approved regardless of PDL1 status. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's the way we're doing it now. Our hospital is in the process of setting up PDL1 testing, but it's not there yet. Um, and so, you know, the question is, if you are going to use the drug, which assay are you going to send out for? Because there are different assays, and which commercial company are you going to send it? It's, the PDL one is a bit of a mess, um, and it requires a lot of work for us to sort out what to do. So, Ben, where do you think we are now, and where are we going to be in a few years with this? Yeah. So, look, I think um, I think what's clear is that um, PDL one does enrich for a group of patients that are more likely to benefit. But I think what's equally clear is that if a patient is PDL1 negative, there's still a chance that they can benefit from treatment with a PD1 or a PDL1 inhibitor. So, so the strategy of using PDL1 um, to enrich for a group.